a guy in Canada you hardly know. Why would I buy a laser from a guy I hardly know? Well, after seeing the result today, it's pretty clear why I bought a laser from a guy in Canada because it's one fantastic piece of equipment. Well, the decision initially after we came to the show, we actually were uh, at the show looking at some other equipment and uh, stumbled upon your booth. And quite simply, after we left the booth, my brother and I were talking on our flight back going, wow, the, the laser really, really makes sense. And, and obviously something new, unique that we hadn't seen, that part is uh, clear. But we thought about it and um, felt that the laser basically had so much to offer and we felt that um, not only obviously having been developed for apparel we felt there were some other applications to tie it in with our existing uh, uh, processes that we use in our company and it just simply made sense so the decision was to go away actually from equipment that we originally were going to purchase and uh, switch our uh, capital investment to, to, to the laser and after seeing what we've seen for the last couple of days um, clearly uh, very happy uh, to have made that decision. And as far as the trust component, well, it certainly helped that, uh, you know, my mom was from Canada, so that, that gave you a slight edge. <laughs> I never met her, never ran into her. Now, you've bought a lot of equipment in your life. What do you think of the training as a person, I think, and how was that experience? It's, uh, it's it's been good. Uh, the person that you sent me is uh, clearly here to do his job and is very focused, knowledgeable, and uh, he's had to whip me into shape a couple of times and keep me on task. Uh, you know, it's, uh, two, basically it's going to be two and a half days of uh, a training, you know, full days. And uh, But no, it's been good. And I mean, I feel like when Alex uh, leaves us uh, tomorrow and gets on his flight that, you know, we're going to be able to to start uh, generating revenue and ultimately um, well I mean anybody that buys this I guess that's why they purchase a piece of equipment is to generate revenue for their business so um, no it's been it's been very good and I I Alex has covered all the I mean all many things and actually I think we've actually done a few things here with Alex and I explored some new possibilities with uh, the permaboss laser that you know was uh, kind of fun just to to explore something outside of just the apparel component. Well, you have the big kahuna. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm here. I'm sorry. I I interrupted you. I apologize. No, you have the big kahuna. That's a big difference. I mean, we don't we, we sell the majority of the time, you know, 40, 60 watt, 50 watt lasers, but you got the biggest toy that we have. Um, tell me. When were you hands when were you hands on and our guy was hands off? When were you independent? Um, as far as the train with this uh, piece of equipment, well, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll get Alex in trouble. I think he was. We got rid of him about after the first uh, forty-five minutes. No, actually, I'm kidding. No, uh, we were we were my brother uh, Steve and I were utilizing the laser within fifteen twenty minutes. Actually, we were. Uh, Using the the PC interface and off we off we go. So I mean, it, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was within 15, 20 minutes we were we were etching something. I don't remember what our first item was, but uh, it was uh, exciting to see the first piece come off. But uh, yeah, 15, 20 minutes. I don't like to show the software on the web or to you know in, 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 on the YouTube etc. Yeah, it's, uh, I would, you know, we have, we do have a number of equipment, uh, we have, uh, we, everything from sublimation to digital printing and uh, embroidery and, um, and certainly computers that run the software and from, uh, I'm the, definitely the most uh, technically challenged of anybody that will utilize this and I was able to go to a very intuitive touch screen 
and uh, basically figure out how to run. In fact, my uh, seven-year-old daughter came in and looked at the screen and knew exactly what uh, button, button to push. And um, obviously, because it's a laser and I didn't want her to be messing around with it, I said, no, don't push it. But it was crystal clear to her what made the thing go. So very, very, very intuitive. <laughs> I wish I did. Um, <laughs> so, a quick question. You've got a trade show tomorrow. Correct. You haven't even had the laser a full 48 hours, and I heard you've got samples done already. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absol we had samples done actually yesterday. We, developed, we have uh, staff shirts that are fully embossed, uh, uh, not embossed, excuse me, fully etched, laser etched. Uh, ready to go for the show tomorrow. We have a number of samples, and yeah, and in fact, uh, my I have a couple of retail stores. My sales staff already has uh, a full set of six to eight pieces of samples that they're out there showing uh, our customers. In fact, uh, our top 15, 20 customers logos are already all prepped for the laser, and uh, they are out out selling. And we got the laser was uh, turned on. I think it was. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Wednesday morning at about uh, 10 or 11 o'clock, and, and here it is Thursday, and they're up and going. What stuff did you make today and yesterday? So, do you have any stuff to show or talk about? Abso <clears throat> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, first of all, um, well, this is probably a little small. I've, uh, my nephew has a little e uh, wallet that we did. He's a fan of the Eagles, and so we did that. It's probably not a great representation because it's uh, small, but we have, uh, have that. Um, we have a beautiful piece of leather and a couple of uh, potential clients that we um, had already started to talk to about uh, doing some work uh, with a, a uh, outdoor a company. Um, and uh, here's a, our, our logo on a piece of leather. We have uh, very excited about the leather component because of some people that we work with that actually can do beautiful things with leather. Um, we have a piece of uh, gr uh, dark granite that we've etched a couple of logos uh, into, um, made a few passes, and uh, the I guess a part of it because of the machine that we bought, we were able to uh, get that going and did a beautiful job on this dark uh, dark granite. Um, we have a piece of uh, I'm pretty sure this is oak that we did this. Uh, I'm not sure where this logo comes from. This uh, oh, this is Perma Boss's logo. Uh, we have the Perma Boss logo. Um, our, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I figure if I'm if I'm talking to the boss, so I can do that. So um, anyway, um, and then our company uh, DoodleSoup.net, that is uh, our uh, customized uh, company that we have. That uh, part of the reason that the laser has created for us. But uh, anyway, so we've done that on some wood. Um, <clears throat> what we saw at the show, pretty much the one of the you know the how wonderful the uh, laser etching is on a, a nice uh, fleece uh, piece here, uh, full back, uh, neck, and uh, and then also on the front chest that we've done and worked out absolutely beautiful. Um, we have a good old... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I've got, uh, I've got uh, that coming. We've got, uh, well here, I've got a a little scrap down here on the floor. Sorry, I don't know why. Um, so this is a little uh, acryl uh, red acrylic. Uh, I think it's eighth inch that we etched part of our logo. And then the laser, actually, this was a larger piece. And then the laser actually had uh, cut this out uh, beautifully with a couple of passes and made a, actually a very clean and uh, nice, nice edge. And then down here was our, we actually did this. Uh, oh, here we've got this. Um, this is pretty. This is pretty amazing. This was Alex and Steve, my brother's uh, uh, concoction. This is an eighth-inch piece of uh, acrylic that they. It has. It's a. Uh, and it's kind of probably hard to tell because I've got. It's clear, so I hope you can see this. But basically, it cut out the the head of the uh, of the elk um, and then etched inside to give it some depth and. Uh, uh, and it's uh, basically they made a little keychain, and I was like blown away by this. It's I wasn't planning on making a little keychains, but 
we're planning on taking our other equipment and doing some coloration on the back. Uh, but anyway, you can do this in color or whatever. So that's that's quite amazing. Um, wasn't planning on that. And then um, we've got this is our last two pieces. We did this in the last 30 minutes. We took a. I just have to be careful here because I've got one hand. We have a piece of glass that uh, our local NBA team here, the Jazz, I hope I don't get fined for using their logo. But anyway, they, um, we uh, took this piece of glass and did an outline and a fill. And it's just absolutely amazing. And the laser did a phenomenal job. And then we got a couple other logos over here on the side. But the last piece that I was actually the most... Um, most intrigued with was my brother came up with the idea of taking off the backing of a mirror and this is just incredible it uh, so the, the mirror uh, it, we, went, we uh, lasered from the back side took off the mirror and lo and behold now you can see the see through the glass and it will you know you could back uh, light this or whatever but it's uh, abs it's amazing and, and the nice thing about it is is there's no Hand, you know, there's no when you touch it or rub your hand across it. It's, it, there's no uh, no rough edges or anything. So it's pretty, pretty amazing. So that was that was quite fun, and certainly wasn't planning on uh, doing that with the laser. But I guess basically shows uh, some of the versatility that's off, that's here. How difficult was it to overcome the challenge of learning the settings of all these different things you mentioned using? Uh, laser interface there. Um, well, your methodology has to do it so fast. <clears throat> well, well, I mean, it makes sense to me now that, that, that there's a couple of a few variables in the software that you have to control, and that's obviously how much power you're using, and how fast the laser is moving, and uh, how many passes you make, and and then the logo. Is it rocket science? What's that? The rocket science. No, absolutely not. I mean, like I said, if I can figure out, and basically what you do is you do a little bit of testing, and similar products have similar characteristics, and you kind of get have a basic recipe, and you get close, and you make a couple of minor adjustments, and you're off and going. So we we were able to do that with uh, just a couple of minor adjust, adjustments, and now we just we know what what you do, so it's very easy. Um, are you open? For people who watch the video who are skeptical or are not in the market right now, would you be willing to take on contract work? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that we're this is you know this is fairly new to a lot of people. We're hoping that um, we can offer a, a service and stuff. So absolutely, we would we would definitely do that for sure. Okay, great. So I'll make sure that your logo and stuff. Tell me, tell Alex which logo or put on the USB stick that we want to put on the video or how you want them to contact you as well. No problem. That will be... That makes you officially the big kahuna poster boy. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that will be good. We'll be, we'll, we'll be that. So. Well, perfect. So I want to say thanks again. I appreciate you making the quick video for me and trusting us. And I, I look forward to sharing as much as I can about the marketing, about the tools, about how to sell it, how to position it. Um, To which is just in general? In general, if they're getting into a business, if they're looking at this, any one quick word of advice? Um, in the, if, if you're speaking, and obviously what you do with the laser business is, um, my, my word of advice is don't limit your imagination because clearly there's a, I think that's the one thing that we've determined with the laser uh, that the, 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 Possibilities are endless, um, and don't don't limit yourself. Uh, that that would be, I guess, my my thought. Okay, 
Wow, perfect. Okay, so I appreciate that so much, and I thank you for your time. All right, Rob, have a good evening, and we'll catch you later. Thanks. Stay on the line for a minute, would you? Yep.